Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another math video. Um, this one, closely related to the last one that I just did, um, this one is closely related to the vertical line test, and of course this is the horizontal line test. So what the horizontal line test uh, does is it allows you to determine if the inverse of a function will be a function itself. So as an example I got here is the parabola. So um, if I take the inverse, and all the inverse is, of course, is switching the x and y points. Um, and really it's just a reflection in this y line, y is equal to x. Um, we want to know if that function will still be a function. So the way we do it is using the horizontal line test. So you can sort of picture this graph on its side like this. So that's kind of the where we're going to get at. So if I draw a horizontal line through this function, the vertical line test says that if I touch more than two points, then the inverse of my um, the inverse of my uh, graph or of my function will not be a function. In order for the inverse of the graph to be a function, it has it can only touch at one point. So we should know that when we take the inverse of a quadratic or you know the gra inverse of the graph a parabola it's not going to be a function because you have it's going to be you know it's going to look something like um you can imagine this is being your axis here so it's going to look something like this I'm not going to attempt to draw it cuz it's just going to look weird but you know it's it's right here anyway it's going to look like a u shape on its side sort of like a c perhaps you might describe it as um, so if I draw a vertical line through that, it would touch two points. So obviously if it's not going to pass the horizontal line test because, you know, its inverse is not a function. Now we can make it a function if we want it to by restricting the domain, but that's not a video on this stuff. So if you look at a circle, well, the circle is not a function to begin with because it fails the horizontal line test. But if I drew a line, a horizontal line, its inverse is not a function either. So again, it fails the horizontal line test. Well, what does? Let's give an example of something that does pass the horizontal line test. Well, this is a linear function. If I draw a horizontal line anywhere along here, I'm only going to touch exactly one point. Therefore, the inverse of this graph is a function. So that's all the horizontal line test tells us. So it's a useful thing uh, in some pre-calculus classes. You might be aware of it. You might want to be aware of it just for you know some multiple choice assessment items, things like that. So hopefully, guys, this short little video helps. Short little video, sorry, <clears throat> helps you figure out everything you need to know about the horizontal line test. Um, it's a very small topic in pre-calculus, but still, it's worth knowing. Hopefully, this video helped you. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in class.